Hi everyone. First, I want to thank Oxford Nanopore for organizing this virtual conference and inviting me to speak. Today, I will talk about systematic benchmarking of detection tools for CPU methylation from nanopore sequencing. A system methylation profiling methods requires specific chemical treatment during library preparation such as bisulfate treatment and immunoprecipitation. Thanks to Oxford Nanopore, it provides the opportunity to access native DNA as single molecule resolution and detect bases or even modified bases from current signals. Since then, many different tools have been developed for the detection of base modification from Nanopore data, but there has not been yet a systematic benchmarking to determine the strengths and the limitation of these tools. In order to fill this gap, so far, we have tested Nanopolish, Tombo, Deep Signal, Meganandan, and Guppy for their accuracy to detect CPG methylation from nanopore sequencing. In order to do that, we performed a PCR3 targeted nanopore sequencing run using the Kastner and Richman approach to preserve modifications and to capture 10 different regions in a human cell line and sequence the DNA library on a single mean and flow cell. We then use the enriched risk to detect methylation. Since the steps in modified base detection for each tool are different, we have developed a set of snake make pipelines to automate this analysis. After methylation calling and downstream processing for each tool, we had the methylation frequency of each CPG site at genome level, and then we validated this output with published whole genome by surface sequencing data. We compare methylation frequencies between nanopore and bisulfate data using the Pearson and Spearman correlations. You can see a high concordance with bisulfate data in most tools, with deep signal showing the highest correlations followed by Magnandan and nanopolish. On the other hand, Tombow underperformed in differentiating the methylation states at highly methylated sites, and Guppy was good at calling unmodified CPGs but became less accurate in predicting methylated CPGs. We then evaluated the tools with different coverage. You can see that increasing coverage does not notably improve the correlations. We also applied the same pipeline to the high coverage enrichment data from a recently published study. We found that all tools suffered from systematic biases in which they failed to predict DNA methylation state at high coverage. Next, we look at the methylation frequency patterns across the region. We select two interesting regions to look at. They both have a hypomethylated CBG island in the promoter region, but the left one only has about 20x coverage, while the right one with almost 150x coverage. As you can see, methylation patterns are concordant between nanopore and bisulfate even at low coverage. Finally, we use the methylation control dataset, which contains a methylated and methylated DNA as the ground truth to further calculate performance metrics. So far, we have only generated the result of nanopolish, deep signal, and magnandan. By testing on different proportions of methylated reads, deep signal in blue color achieve higher precision across different percentage of methylation. In 0% methylation, magnandan in green color was accurate in calling unmethylated CPGs, while nanopolish did not control the false positive very well. And in 100% methylation, in this case, nanopolish had fewer false negative and was more accurate in calling fully methylated CPGs. In conclusion, our results show that nanopore sequencing achieved good correlations with gold standard by survey data, and in particular, deep signal performed the best. Interestingly, we found that nanopore can accurately detect methylation even at low coverage. To summarize, we have benchmarked five different detection tools for CPG methylation, including the modified base caller Guppy. We will continue these benchmarking studies to establish accuracy of each method. For more information, please check out our poster. Last but not least, I would like to thank all my supervisors, Oxford Nanopore, and the people who have guided me through this project. Thank you for listening.